Welcome friends, welcome viewers, welcome colleagues. This is Dr. Jaitley, your cardiologist from New York on your favorite source, Muni Meter Health, which is dedicated to teaching you cardiology, human heart awareness, and human and about heart illnesses. So welcome again to Muni Meter Health. In this brief segment today, we're going to be talking to you about what are diuretics, groups of drugs. Diuretics are those groups of drugs which actually let you pass more urine in the simplest form I'm saying that remember this is a medical education channel and it's a patient education channel okay and we are geared towards improving the clinical outcomes so if we can improve the clinical outcomes by these mechanisms our purpose is served on money meter health well uh, remember it's not a medical advice channel and of course uh, we if somebody's having an emergency please uh, dial 911 if you're in the United States get to the nearest hospital or consult a doctor so again once again coming back to what are diuretics diuretics are those groups of drugs which are making you make more urine so basically they will work obviously on the kidneys right and the kidneys we know if you were to draw the kidneys so here's a kidney, the right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney. Here we go. Okay, so these are the uh, ureters, and as the ureters, they'll pass uh, the urine into your bladder and what have you. Okay, so, but the kidneys microscopically, they contain glomeruli. Now, if you were to magnify this macroscopically, a glomerulus contains several capillaries like this, just to refresh in your nephron. It's called the nephron. And again, uh, out comes out a, a, a proximal tubule, and then that loops around right by the medulla of the kidney. These are your cortex area. This is your medulla. And this is where it loops around and goes up and becomes the distal tubule. So here is your proximal convoluted tubule this is your loop of Henle if you remember and this is your distal convoluted tubule or distal DCT and all of these will merge into various calices and later on form and and filter into the urine and uh, into the ureter so that the urine is formed so multi microscopic millions and millions of these glomeruli structures like this they are actually housed within the each of these kidneys which are responsible for this ultra filtration now the loop diuretics right here they will work over here the thiazide groups of drugs they will work at the proximal uh, the pct level potassium sparing the classic example is i would say they are the aldosterone antagonists so they will work at the ras system renin angiotensin aldosterone system or raas if you will and the classic example is aldectone here so I'll write it down. These are the prototypes. There could be another potassium sparing, which has been used for years since even I was in the medical school. That was a while ago. But the trimeterine, uh, this is the other group of drugs which are potassium sparing. Loop diuretics, the classic examples are Lasix. I'm sure everybody has heard that. And this is Bumex. And the other one is Bumex, which is bumetamide. Lasix is furosemide. Now, the dosages here are varying between what dosages do we use? 40 to 480 for uh, Lasix, and the action lasts, as the name suggests, last six hours. Exactly. That's how the that's how the name was coined, Lasix, and you'll never forget that. Now, Bumex also lasts about six hours, and here the dose is 0.5 to about five milligrams. Remember, these are in milligrams. Aldectone, the dose is anywhere between 25 to say 100 milligrams that's the tops and the action lasts about 12 hours and trimeterine again the dose could be 50 to 100 milligrams thiazide groups of drugs are the typical hydrochlorothiazides which act again remember i told you at the pct level and the dose could be anywhere between 6.25 to up to 50 milligrams normally the dose is 25 that most individuals will be able to handle it remember they lose all of these drugs all these three groups of drugs they make potassium come out of your body as well in addition to the sodium which we'll talk about in a second and the sulfa groups like the uh, the hygrotone or uh, you can say the chlorothaladone no long names just bear with me chlorothaladone 
and these groups of drugs are also there and 25 to 50 milligrams can be used and again the action may be 12 hours here this could be 18 hours this is long hydrochlorothiazide now what is the mechanism of action at so i, I just said uh, they will work at the loop of henley and uh, proximal tb but what do they do actually well basically they will help you secrete excrete rather sodium and along comes the water so sodium and water both will be depleted out of your plasma volume and as a result you'll pee it out so it'll be all in the urine now along with the sodium sometimes the potassium also comes and therefore these are potassium losing diuretics whereas these two are potassium sparing diuretics because they do not uh, they they preserve the potassium so that's an advantage is somebody uh, so here so where would you where would you be wa watching the potassium in these three groups of drugs especially the lasix it's very notorious that's why commonly uh, lasix is prescribed and then uh, it is commonly said that make sure you have a banana every day or an orange every day or a glass of orange juice every day etc or tomatoes tomatoes have a lot of potassium so you can have that too so as long as the doctor is prescribed to make sure that you don't drop your potassium in these so make sure your patients really don't drop their potassium either okay so very importantly so now we have understood what are the diuretics what are the four groups and uh, what is their dosages we are talking about the doses here and we're talking about the action durations here and what is the mechanism of action here how do they work where do they work we have answered those questions a side effect we need to know about the side effects well side effect the common side effect is potassium potassium goes down in your blood now now where would you indicate these drugs ultimately diuretics must find some use right so the use is here heart failure and hypertension okay so congestive heart failure and hypertension this is where you'd want to have because sodium and uh, water if that is depleted out of your body you're reducing your plasma volume remember that if you're reducing your plasma volume, you're reducing your cardiac output effectively. So as a result, the, the kidneys and the body will sense that you have lesser volume, therefore you have lesser systemic vascular resistance, so your blood pressure will go down, again by 10, 15, 20 points. Now over a period of time, once the volume resets back to normal level or slightly lower normal level, then again the Lasix or uh, the diuretic actions will start diminishing because the renin will come into place and aldosterone will come into play. Uh, those are your own hormones that will start to contra uh, you know, con uh, counteract the actions of the diuretic, prolonged actions of diuretic. So remember, diuretics are wonderful drugs they will reduce the volume if you are volume overloaded if your patient has volume like some uh, somebody has ascites for instance somebody has uh, pedal edema we'll write edema somebody has ascites collection of fluid within the uh, within the peritoneal cavity pleural effusions again lasix really works or the diuretics really work wonderful there specifically now lasix has an advantage you can use it iv also sometimes in a drip IV drip form also okay so these are your top indications this is your side effect potassium loss uh, sodium and water loss obviously this is these are desirable actions because these are your this is where you know the utility of the diuretic uh, actions are being uh, really utilized in your body so and, and now you know the four groups of diuretics as well and their dosages and their actions and uh, the places where they work within the kidneys on the on the various uh, um, nephrons on the various sites of the nephrons okay so our our, our goal is really to educate uh, the masses and of course the students residents and fellows and refreshing attendings like me who are slightly uh, older now and so this way we know exactly how the diuretics work and where where do they work and how how patients how your patients can benefit out of these indications specifically like the severe hypertension the heart failure and the volume overloaded patients as well okay so stay tuned for more we'll be teaching you again and educating you more on munimeter health again please mind that this is not a uh, medical advice channel this is just a uh, regular and in medical information that we're providing to our students residents and fellows and of course to our general masses and we want to improve the clinical outcomes because that's our global initiative thanks again this is dr jaitley looking